This video will explain how to configure and manipulate the tables in the FIC software. Additional videos are available for all facets of the FIC and each explain the settings and functions of different areas in detail. Let's start off with the software open and connected to the FIC. Each of these icons along the top is for a different table. I is for the ignition trim table. It allows you to retard the ignition timing based on load and RPM. F is for the fuel tables, of which there are two. One is a pressure-based table, which uses the onboard pressure sensor as the load input. The second is a MAF-based table, which uses the MAF sensor as its load input. These tables allow you to increase or decrease the fuel delivered based on load and RPM, and both are always live. M is for the MAF remapping table, and you have to be careful here to understand the difference between this table and the MAF fuel table. The MAF remapping table is for changing or clamping the MAF sensor output so the factory ECU does not see the true MAF signals. The O is for the O2 or AFR sensor table. It allows you to skew the O2 sensor output values seen by the factory ECU so its feedback will work for you rather than against you. The A and B tables are the general purpose 0 to 5 volt remapping channels. Both allow you to take a user supplied 0 to 5 volt signal and remap them based on load and RPM. For this demonstration, let's use the ignition map since its functions are typical of all the maps. Across the top you have engine RPM and on the left you have the load values. The channel used for the load axis is selected in the setup menu. Let's open that as well. Now, looking at the ignition load input selection box, you'll see MAP, MAF, and TPS. The MAP selection uses the onboard MAP sensor for load. The MAF selection uses the 0 to 5 volt MAF sensor input and the TPS selects a throttle position input for load. After you change this value, the table axis will update as soon as you click on it again. Now you can fully configure the breakpoint values in all the tables, either by left clicking on a cell and directly typing in a new value, or you can highlight a series of cells and have the program fill in the values for you. Let's say I wanted to have a load axis cover from 0 to 32 PSI and fill in the values in between with evenly spaced breakpoints. We would start by making the bottom value 0 and the top value 32. Next, left click and drag to include these two cells and all the cells in between. Now, right click and select Calculate. This will fill in the cells between the two endpoints with evenly spaced values. And you can do the same with RPM axis. The table can be edited in much the same way. Left clicking allows you to select a cell. Once any cell is selected, you can use the arrow keys to move to a different cell. At any time, you can simply type in a new value and press enter to change it. But you can also edit entire blocks of text by left clicking and dragging to highlight the desired area. Now, right clicking brings up the actions menu. You now have the option of copying from or pasting the block to the clipboard. Set value allows you to enter the same value into every highlighted cell. Change value allows you to change all the highlighted cells by some percent. So for example, if I typed in minus 50, it would reduce all the, the values in the cells by 50%. Calculate will fill in the selected areas with evenly spaced values just like we demonstrated on the axes. And the plus sign will increase the cell values by one step and the minus sign will decrease the cell values by one step. Now if you are connected to the FIC, any change you make will be updated immediately. If you want to see where the engine is currently operating, you can open and then minimize the gauges display. This will place a green highlight on the current cell being accessed by the FIC. You'll see that as engine RPM and load changes, the green cell highlight will continue to display the current operating position. And since the FIC will almost never be exactly on a single cell location, it will typically be somewhere between two load and two RPM values. 
In this case, the FIC uses all of these cell values to determine the proper operating values. And that's how you set up and change the data stored in the FIC maps. Please select additional videos for detailed instructions on other functions.